Hello, future me here. As I was editing this video, I just realized how overwhelming it is. Um, it's it's pretty massive. Um, it, it's uh, about an hour long content of me trying to explain the algorithm and uh, walking you through the entire solution. Um, and I feel like if you, I slap you with the entire video in one go, um, you're gonna be overwhelmed how complicated it is and you're probably gonna uh, get tired way too quickly. Um, just to make sure that um, you understand and I walk you through my entire journey on trying to find the solution, um, I ended up separating this video into multiple parts. Hello and welcome to some more Bitburners. Um, in the last video, we created a find targets script that essentially reports the uh, optimal targets uh, within your network. So if we run that, it shows you an alert that reports, uh, I guess, all the information about the nodes and then sorts it in ascending order based on the amount of money. Um, from this report, we then switched the service running the gimme money script to point to the one that has the, the maximum amount of money. So in our scenario, it's the hub. Um, and then if we look at our active scripts, you could see everything pointing to the hub. Um, but th there is one, I guess, major problem with the way that we uh, run this, these scripts. Um, so I'm gonna use Miro to explain this, uh, this concept. So here we are in Miro. Um, so if you imagine our target servers as, I guess, uh, a bunch of islands, and each of these islands has its own set of cache, um, and then it also has its own set of protection. Um, and then let's represent uh, our servers that's running the gimme money script as uh, with this pirate flag. And then we have a, a home, home base for the pirate. And this is where the pirate uh, goes back and forth from. Whenever, I guess, a server runs our gimme money script, uh, what then we will do is that it's gonna, I guess, sail the pirate across to that island. And then once the pirate reaches this island, it's gonna do a whole bunch of checks. So first it's gonna check whether or not this island has uh, security. If it does, it's gonna get rid of it. So the process of getting rid of security is called weaken. Uh, and then the pirate can only execute one thing at a time, uh, one thing per day. So as soon as it executes that weekend script, it's going to go back, sail across to where it came from, so its home base, and then come back the next day to do some more checks. So they sail across to the island to do its check. Uh, first it checks whether or not it has security, it doesn't. And then it checks whether or not it has money, yes it does. Uh, if it does have money, then we steal the money. Uh, and this process is called hack uh, within the game. And whenever you hack, you steal the money, but you also increase the security of the island. Um, and then, so since it, the pirate did what it needed to do, it's going to sail across back to where it came from, and then come back the next day to do some more checks. Uh, first, it checks whether or not it has security. Yes, it does. So it's going to weaken it again and then sail back and then sail again. And then um, it's going to do some more checks. So does it have any protection? No, it doesn't. Does it have money? No, it does not. And if there's no money, then we're going to grow the server. So that's what, what, it, what it's doing. So that this is what the grow is doing. So it's going to add cash or add simulated cash onto our island but also increases the protection of the island right afterwards. Uh, since the pirate did its uh, one thing for the day, it's gonna sail across to where it came from and then, um, and then come back the next day to do, I guess, the same check. So does it have protection? Uh, does it have money? And it's gonna do this process over and over again. Uh, so let's reset back to um, to the initial scenario but this time we have two pirates so two servers running the gimme money script uh, so how how this scenario works is that these two pirates will execute in in the same time so they're gonna sail across to the island and then um, look at the island at its current state 
so it, just imagine both of these, uh, I guess, pirates running the same checks at the same time. Uh, so both pirates detect that it has protection, so both of them will weaken the server. Uh, so it's going to remove the, the protection here. And then once they finish executing, then they're both going to go back to where they came from and then come back the next day, do some more checks. And so this is where it gets interesting. So this is where the, the problem, uh, I guess, occurs. So uh, both pirates will detect that it doesn't have protection, uh, but it does have money. Um, so what happens is that uh, one pirate will take the money. So both of them will run the, the hack. Uh, so take the money, uh, whatever is left in the server, whilst the other pirate will also try to take the money. But since the, the first pirate already took the money, then the second pirate doesn't take anything away. Uh, but it does increase the security twice. So now this island has doubled the protection, mainly because we ran the hack twice. Um, and then these pirates sail across back to where it came from and then come back the next day to do some more checks and then it's the both of them will detect that it has uh, uh, protection so one pirate will get rid of one protection and then the other pirate will get rid of the other protection uh, and then they're gonna sail across back to their home base and then come back the next day um, and then when they do their checks, uh, they detect that there's no protection in the server and there's no money. So both of them will execute the, the grow script. And you would think that this grow script um, will generate two cache files. But if you recall, every single server has a maximum limit to um, the amount of money that they can, they can actually store. For simplicity's sake, um, this island can only store one cache pile, meaning that uh, both pilot pirates will execute the grow command and then they're gonna try to um, put cache uh, in the server. Uh, but since it can, this island can, I guess, store only one cache pile, the other cache pile just vanishes. So it never gets stored into the island. Um, but the protection still, um, I guess, happens twice so now there's double protection but there's only one set of money and then we uh, these pirates sail across back to their home base and then do some more checks and then uh, weaken the server uh, hack the server and then grow the server uh, but the, the problem here is that uh, both of these are only taking I guess one cash pile uh, whereas in the ideal scenario, two of these should be taking two cash piles, um, meaning that we're not allocating our resources effectively. So let's reset back the, the scenario. And then let's say that instead of uh, having just two pirates on one island, it'll be two pirates, two target servers. At the moment, we instruct all our pirates to go to just a single island. But the problem here, as we saw in the, the previous example, is that the amount of resources that we allocate um, doesn't, I guess, equate to the amount of cash that we get in return. Uh, but then there's other target servers that are that's right for the taking. And we these pirates doesn't know anything about it. Uh, so we need a way to coordinate these attacks. And then here comes the, the captain will represent captain as this uh this hacker dude and what this captain does is that it's gonna try to analyze every single island within uh the network and then try to coordinate the i guess these pirates to where they need to go um so in the ideal scenario uh this captain will detect the level of protection that these islands has so the target servers and also the amount of money that they have and then also uh, have a record of I guess the amount of resources or pirates that uh, they have and then they're gonna coordinate these attacks so one pirate goes to this island whilst the other pirate pirate goes to these island and what's good about this is that 
both of these pirates will be uh, executing the same commands uh, and doing the same checks, uh, but producing the, the same output uh, simultaneously, meaning that this uh, captain will get double the amount of money. One eternity later. And we're back to some more bit burners. Um, so I managed to create the, uh, the improved coordination script and I called it launch fleets. Uh, I wanted to keep the pirate uh, analogies just so that it's a lot easier to understand. Um, just to, I guess, give a demo, uh, I stopped all the active scripts within our server. Uh, first, let's run the auto deploy script. So I'm gonna run this auto deploy script and I'm gonna point it to the hub. So it's uh, it basically just deployed the uh, the give me money script on all these servers, and if we go back to this, um, you could you would see that every single server is running that give me money script. Um, but the the problem here is that um, these lines, these dashes here, represents unused threads. Uh, so. Um, if we keep going left and right, you could see that there's some servers that are uh, underutilized, mainly because uh, this give me money script doesn't end in a in a whole number, and um, there's only I guess a certain amount of uh, RAM that it can use. Yep. So we turned that off, um, and then let's uh, and then let's launch the. Uh, the launch fleet script so I called it launch fleet script so this is our improved coordination script and then if we run this um, and then go back to active scripts you would see that all of our resources are being utilized so there's no I guess dashes in any of them well th there is one uh, but this one dash represents one thread that we can't really use and then if we expand this, you would see that uh, it's running multiple pirates on um, different servers, meaning that uh, this resource is being allocated um, to where it needs to go much more efficiently. Um, cool. So that's, that's essentially what that uh, launch fleet does. And now I guess I'm going to go walk you through the... Uh, the code. But before we do that, let's go back to uh, our mirror board and then I'm going to explain, I guess, from a high level what it's uh, it's doing. So um, we already covered the example of um, this captain coordinating where the pirates need to go uh, and to which island. But um, I didn't talk about the timings of these, I guess, hack, weaken and grow scripts. Uh, so this is the second requirement for this launch fleet script. Um, so if you haven't noticed already, every single action, so hack, weaken, and grow, has its own timings. Just to describe the, I guess, the effects of each of these actions again, a hack takes away the money and then increases the server security. Uh, weaken uh, it decreases the server security and then grow increases the money and then increases the, the security. Uh, so if we want to, um, I guess, execute this in a logical order that, um, I guess, cancels each other's effect, uh, ideally we want to first do a hack to, uh, to first uh, take away the money from the server. And then from that, um, since we do a hack and it takes away the money and then increases the security, we want to counteract that increase in security through a weaken. So it needs to ex execute the weaken shortly after. And then since we took the money, we want to execute the grow uh, after that, which will then um, in uh, increase the security again, and that, but also put some money uh, in in our island and then since there's an increase in security we want to execute a weaken right after the grow which will then reset the state back to where there's minimal security and then we can then repeat the process again so hack takes away the money uh, increases security the weaken takes away that security grow 
uh, puts money into that server or island and then increases its security and then we can right after uh, to reset it back to the initial state that we want um, so this is the I guess logical order that we want our scripts to execute I guess there, there's a question of how does this sequence relate to the uh, the gimme money script it improves it by decreasing the amount of time it takes for it to uh, ge start generating money mainly because we execute these scripts in parallel uh, so what do we what do we mean by this so if we look at um, I guess the same scenario for uh, the gimme money script so I'm just gonna extract the hack weaken and grow uh, what it's doing is that it executes everything in sequence so it only does one action at a time so first let's say that in the initial scenario uh, the the servers in the state so it's gonna hack um, so it's gonna try to take the money and increase security and then in the next iteration it's gonna try weaken it uh, so it looks like that and then it's gonna try grow it which will then increase the money and then uh, increase security and then it's gonna try weaken it again there we go so, and as you can see the, the time it takes for the I guess parallel sequence as opposed to just a linear sequence uh, exec executes and finishes a lot faster meaning that we're able to generate um, income a lot faster